Stop that. What are you doing, boy? You playing too much, Jits. How you letting an old man stop you like this? Are you 20? What are you talking about? Street ball, my word. What you gonna do in college with that? Just I want none of that. Everybody get into the bag, and I know I get a mad little. We wet it. My, my team shining. We're going to find out right now. Like That's the test. Hey! Whole team winning. That's better, baby. Don't get it twisted. Now I ain't got to worry about it. Oh, look at Pop. He missed it. Uh-huh. Wait, this is what I'm Show you why I'm a big hoogie rally. Bro, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing, dude? <laughs> if we was in the park, I'd have jumped straight up. He worried about his head too much. No Kim Wallace. And what it is, Mr. Vibes, you know we are back outside with another banger for y'all. Welcome back to the channel. I got something special for y'all. We have a D1 athlete that plays for the Florida Gators. Good, bro? Riley Kugel, man. Yeah. One of the top prospects in the nation. He came in the scene in high school, killing it. Now he's playing for the Florida Gators. Did his first season over there. He's entering into his sophomore season. Make sure you follow him right here. We gonna hoop. But before we hoop, we gonna get into the sit down. We gonna chop it up for y'all. So let's get straight into that. Here, Woolies. And what it is was the vibes. We about to run the ones, but first I decided to sit down so y'all can get a taste of what it's like in a D1 athlete's life daily. So I just want to ask you a few questions, man. First of all, what high school you went to? Ninth to 10th grade year. I went to like a small little private school called Central Florida Christian Academy. Junior, senior year, I went to Dr. Florida. And what was that like? You went in there, you were the star, you started teeing up. I wouldn't really say I was a star, you know. I had two crazy other athletes on my team, so. Who? Denzel Aberdeen, you know, he's a point guard. He also played with me okay. at Florida right now. And then we got Ernest from Kansas. How much did you average in high school? It wasn't nothing crazy to me. It was, it was like maybe like 13. You weren't getting burned like that? Nah, it was just our team was crazy, bro. Like, we played the national schedule, you know. We had a McDonald's All-American on our team. We was playing against the best of the best. How'd that make you feel? That bother you a little bit? I mean, nah, I was still the leading scorer, you feel me? But our whole team was hooping. Yeah, y'all was killing it. Y'all won a chip? We won a state championship our junior year. We ended up losing senior, senior year. Whatever. You got to Florida. What's it like your first year there? Man, it's a blessing. Just be there in that environment, in that space. Go to school there, have an education. Hoop there is just... You can't really ask for much, nothing more. There's a lot of hoopers that wish they could get the position you're in now yeah. from high school. Now, I've been paying attention. I noticed in the first season, the burn wasn't necessarily there as far as playing time. First half, right? What was that like? You was in practice earning it or what? Every day, you got to earn it, bro. Like, people just going after 110% every practice. So In practice, it gets it, it's like that. Just get real, bro. So it's like that. They're going all, all college hoopers are going at it. You feel me? But, you know, when it came down to it, I definitely was hooping, you know. Um, I had to earn my spot. Things didn't go that good, you know, playing time-wise. What was it like first? time getting on that stage. When you first got checked in the game, your first Florida University game, what was that like? Man, that shit was crazy, bro. Like, I, I remember just walking in and I like, I looked up, I tried to find where my mom was and I ended up not finding her to the end of the first half. Like, <laughs> crazy ass that atmosphere, man. Shout out to Mama Love. Yeah, shout out Mama. Those crowds are crazy. What about away games? Are the away fans games. talking shit to you at the away games? Every, every conference SEC game, they always gonna be on you. They bro. on your body? <laughs> like, they student sections be out of the roof, man. You ain't hear nobody trying to tell you your trash and shit or nothing? I don't heard it all, bro. Like, <laughs> a lot of things I have not heard in life, I damn sure heard damn near every one of them. So it's similar in the parks, right? Except, you know, obviously it's a smaller crowd. No matter what, man, it's always just people that just try to tear you down. One of my specialties is being able to perform underneath that pressure. There's a few things I want to make sure that if I can say something to you, just as a person, as a young man, growing up, I got kicked out of high school. I played for FDR and I got kicked out of high school uh, for, for punching people in the face, losing my temper. And and then a couple other opportunities in life came at me. A lot of ego and pride made me lose my opportunities. In your situation right now, if there's one thing I can tell you that I want to say to you, just as a, as a person, right? No matter what, you can always work harder. Don't slow down. This opportunity, this moment right now you have, you're never going to get it again. And every day is a moment. No, fuck the partying. Fuck the girls. Because that's going to come your way. They're going to try to get you in it. I promise. What can go away is the opportunity you have right now, which is the ability to play for a D1 college, get the eyes of the nation on you, go play your ass off, perform, and potentially make it to the league, dog. And I would love to see that for you, man. What was it, two years ago I think I met you? Maybe a year and a half. And just the growth between the game and seeing where you were compared to where you're at now, that timeline, just watching it, man, is impressive. It just makes me happy to see, see a young man be able to do this. I was just a park kid. I got kicked out of school, didn't think nothing of it, played basketball in 
parts. Luckily, I got some W hooligans that love me for who I am and what I do, and I'm able to provide a platform, for, you know, hopefully for some people like you. So make sure y'all follow my dog right here. So moving forward, right? Obviously, they gave you more burn towards the end of the year. Do you think that that's gonna stick around starting the next season? Yeah, definitely. Um, we damn near lost every one of our players. So this whole offseason, our coaching staff, you know, they've been out there in the transfer portal. So we definitely should make an NCAA tournament run this year. You know, I feel definitely confident in our team. All right, so I'm not gonna get too much into the nitty gritty. I look forward to seeing you do it. I just want to tell you, man, I'm gonna say it again. Don't take your foot off the gas. Man, I hope to see you in the league. Make sure y'all pay attention to what my boy is doing this season. You know what it is, man. We appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Let's get straight to these ones. You know what it is. Why? You gonna keep the beanie on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flower power? Just the usual drip, bro. All right, we're gonna do first game. We go two, two games. One game, three dribble limit, one possession. Uh, other game's gonna be unlimited. Second game. Both games, I will run to 13. Shoot them off. Since your jump shot high. Thanks, bro. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, hi. He a little quicker than he look. I ain't gonna lie. A little quicker than he look. Oh, shit. Whew. Oh, shit. And one. Good take. Oh, that's possession. Yeah. Oh, he's got butterfingers. God damn. That's contested. Hey. That's two. Great defense. Oh. It's twos. Gotta put a hand up, my boy. Hand down, man down. Let's go. Oh, big dunks. Two. No. Hey! That's a good ass move though. I like it. You look much sharper than the last time I saw you. Let's go. Come on, Chris. This is bad for hand placement. Oh, good pump. He missed it. Ah, damn. That's a pro move, baby. Ball hot. 3 2. Oh, he missed it. Yes. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta call that. Looks like both me and him been drinking. Let's go. Four. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh. Two. I'm there. That's tough. Good fucking move, boy. Oh, hey! You would have dunked on me, I might have left. He was up there too, right? Way too much space. So, good fucking thing. Fuck me, I lost the ball too. Ball hot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I like that. That shimmy worked real well. No! Fuck. Oh, good shooter's touch. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! No. Get the fuck out of here. One foot? I'm there. Bro, that is very tough. Doesn't get better defense than that. Nice shot. Two. Three. No, that's it. That's it. Oh, no way. Yeah. Yeah. Let me stop fucking around. Oh my God. Acrobat, baby. Oh. Twelve eleven. That's Jack. Oh, that was a Jack and a half. Ball hot. Twelve eleven. Oh. That's three. Get the fuck out of here. I'm about to say, he would've made that on the left. He's trying to be cute now. All right. Oh, wicked. Game. Oh! You better stop being cute before I sneak one in on you. Ball high. Let's work. Oh, fuck me. If we was in the park, I'd've jumped straight the fuck into you. <laughs> Spear fingers. Two. I'm there. Yes! I'm going straight to the rack. Game time. See ya! Yeah! Yeah! Good
Second game, boy. Mm. We got yeah. one more game. When's the last time you hooped? I know you finished the season, and then how long you took off? Probably about a week and a half. And you still look the sharp. I love it. Obviously, I know it's a little bit different when you get on that Florida Gator court. I want to see what you do without restrictions next game. You are surprisingly not weak. You're strong. I gotta, I gotta You're getting stronger. When I first met you, skinny. What I want to say is, though, I really want to show you a couple things in the post. Listen, I know you're finishing. He can yam. His jump shot is fire. His handles are there. I have never seen you in the once get stuck in the post and have to work there. I could do it, though. Has it happened to you in season? Not yet. It's going to. It's going to, though. I'm not fucking Michael Jordan, and I'm not the best, but there's one thing that I am extremely efficient at, and that is the post game. And if you can add that with your speed and athleticism, I know that when you get in that position, you get stuck, and you hit that bitch, you're going to think of me. Nah, I ain't going to think of you. <laughs> <laughs> Pause, no freaking. You know what I mean, bro. No Cam Wilder. So, all right, let's get into game two. Unlimited dribbles. So, let me beat you in this one now. That first game was cooling off. It's cooling off, but let's see where you at now. All right. See, look, I teed now. You teed up. All right, yeah, no, but you ain't got no dribble limit, though. Oh. Oh. That's butter, baby. That's butter, baby. Don't get it twisted. Now I ain't got to worry about it. Now I ain't got to worry about it. We're going to go hard this game. That shit really a whole lot of nothing, though. You said what? Oh, you lucky. Oh, you lucky. Stop, it's not there today. It's not there, oh. It's not there today. It's the beanie. He worried about his hair too much. I'm gonna team up now, watch. Show you why I'm the big hoodie, Riley. Show you why. Bro, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? I forgot, you know the basket Oh, now I know the basket. Oh. oh. Please, I'm tired. Stop. Just stop doing that today. Four, three. No. What? Show you that D. Wow. Cam, get your mans, bro. Right, let's see where you at here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a baby. A sophomore baby. Ooh. Tough. I don't know if I like that though. You ain't gonna have that much time in the midi. They gonna squeeze you so fast down here. But I don't like it. They gonna close that. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was nice. Stop with the shooting. Just stop. Oh, see? He said, oh, I'm Gucci. What? Stop that. Don't see? Don't stop. Oh, a little bit of bump. Oh, that's in. Told you. What'd I just say? Five more points so you don't look like a scrub. I'm gonna take it. Oh! Bro, these kids are distracting me with this not so air Jordan shit. I'm taking that shit, boy. Keep pushing. Oh. Fuck that. No! That's your ball. Nah, you ain't getting that clip on me, boy. Fuck that. Stop shooting. Ha! All right, don't stop shooting. 13. That's your mind blowing, bro. What? You bro, you're having a poor shooting percentage today. That's cool. How much I hit, though? We're going to find out right now. All right. Stop. Just stop. As soon as I can. I'm going to take that shit. Stop that shit. What the fuck is you doing, boy? You playing too much, jit. Street ball my world. Oh, oh, That's too easy. What you gonna do in college with that? You better not let them go like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. I'm gonna take it. You keep playing. Oh. Fuck. Good hezzy. Shut up. Now I'm getting to stop. Stop that shit. You're too fucking cute. You're too fucking cute. You're too fucking cute. Stop being cute on game point. I'm trying to get a TikTok clip. I don't it's know cool. why. It's cool. We on it, though. Finish the game, then. What you doing? You want me to? You bullshitting. You want me to? Yup. Let me see some. How you letting an old man do this to you? An old man. How you letting an old man do this to you? How you letting an old man stop you like this? Are you 20? Let me see something, Riley. What the fuck is you talking about? What you got? So what? I'm having a rough shooting game. What you had last game? Work. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? That's big boy shit. 14-7. Stop that shit, boy. Look, say, yeah. Oh, say something stupid. It ain't slip. Now nah, slip. Are you gonna look at the ball, act like you stopping and keep going? You want that? You want that weak ass shit? 
I'm going to clean the ball. Oh, psych, I'm shooting the ball. Because I don't want to hear none of that. After I just stopped, you clamped your shit like four plays in a row. We can run it back. Earn it. 14, yeah. Yeah. Stop that goofy shit. <laughs> nah, stop that goofy shit, bro. No, he missed it. Fuck. See, that's a game point. Okay. Yes, that's a game point. Anyway, man, make sure you like, subscribe, comment if you're here. Go follow my dog, Riley Krugel, on his way up, man. Killing it in the college game right now. D1 athlete. I'd love to see you in the league one day, man. Deserves it. Let's work. Why? Two things. When you're strong, so your, your immediate instinct when I went to the post was to put the knee out, which is good, right? You put the knee, you find your center position, find it real quick, pick a leg, doesn't matter. That's the strength, right? You keep the elbow up, keep the forearm, right? One thing I was able to catch you with, though, what? I drop steps. Simple thing to remember. Very simple that will enhance your ability to contest bigger, stronger defenders than you, which you're gonna be coming across a ton. In the next five years, a lot of times you're gonna be caught down here with a stronger defender than you, a stronger offender than you. One thing to always remember, when you're here, this is what I always pay attention to, when you're here and you're going strong, you have to use a back foot, we know, because the back foot is how you keep your position against stronger defenders. As soon as I come here though, and you see that foot go, and that other one pick up, because this one doesn't matter, right? This one doesn't matter, what matters is after this one is this one, yeah. right? The second you see that, there's one simple transition that you always gotta remember, all right? And it's this. The foot's here, look, step that way, hip swivel. That's it. Swivel the hips to keep your feet, to put yourself in a better position for contesting. Because if they're bigger, stronger, and taller than you, right? Yeah. Then you're not gonna be able to do all the cute shit on trying to fucking really block the ball. Yeah. So there's two things you remember. They step, do it again. They step, they turn the hips. Now I'm gonna look, my hips are with you still. Yeah. Now you go up for the shot or that long hook. hook. Go put it up here. Yeah. Because then you're gonna ruin their depth, of, their depth perception. Because yeah. big men, most of them are not that combobulated. You know what I'm saying? They're not that uh, efficient when it comes to footwork yeah. and understanding their position to the basket. Not everybody's Julius Randle and shit and Jokic. You know what I'm saying? So most of the time, if you can make sure that you keep yourself in a position where you can cut their, their, their lane off to the basket still, and you take that vision away from them, yeah. don't even go for the ball. Yeah. Jump high and just stay as close to their face without touching it as possible. Yeah. And you will eliminate their ability to see where they're throwing the ball, and that's how you'll get your stops down here. So. Against these big dogs that you're gonna be stepping into the ring with. You feel me? Yeah. Nigga dance like Fabi. Like There's only one white, no copy. No copy. Turn this bitch up, I'm Vobby. Tell him Betty, come and chill, come and ride me. Wait, fuck is y'all talking about, huh? I'll put it at work. Ooh, fuck is y'all talking about?